chain and rail, and then we're going down here to another level. And here you can see, or well, probably not on this, but there's lots of chain and anchor points where the miners used to work this face, and just there without getting too near to the edge, you can see a ladder. Graffiti here, or oh, it's probably old enough to be called out now. 1955. We're now down to where the flooding starts, and I would love to get my diving equipment down here and all my gear, but the problem is, at my age, is lifting it up and down here. I can do the short, shorter ones, but this to me is a major undertaking. So if there's any volunteers out there that want to come for the Dane Carrison dive kit, leave a comment below. That's where Alfie needs a little bit of a carry. He would walk through it, but I'll have to keep him out of the water as much as possible if you don't know what's in it at all. So I'm going to head off up here, guys, and hopefully find all the teapots. You can see a lot more. What an impressive chamber with the flood of air. What have you got there? There's a water here to wade through. It's not too deep. It's a good work. Brickwork. That, and now I'm going to show you a load of teapots. Loads and loads of teapots and shovels and let's get around here. There's a, another teapot and an array of shovels. It's rotted down there. And so, uh, maybe wrong, but that is compressor hose, I know that much. And now coming up here, I do know this bit chaps, there's a flooded staircase which is really, really interesting to us divers. But the logistics of diving down here are pretty slim because crystal clear water would just turn instantly to shit as soon as you got in there with dive stuff. It's probably a short way, but boy, does that look interesting. Disappearing down into the depths. If I can find it today, I'm going to find a spot where I would like to dive an incline. I think it's further down these passages. We'll have another. We'll have another. 15 20 minutes in here, then I'm going out because my back's killing me. Very unlikely place to find a teapot or kettle set on this metal cable rope. Going under a rather dodgy wooden incline above. There's all the spoils there. You can see right up there, level after level after level. Look at that bad boy. We've also seen this before from coming up another direction. Nice, impressive little tunnel made out of pipe wall both sides and railway track for the ceiling, supporting slabs. Very nice. Today's journey. Now it's been, our goal has been achieved because here this is the, the flooded incline that I'm desperate to dive and you can see, I don't want to see it on the camera. I've missed the boat to be the first to dive here. There's a line running in there. I don't know whose it is. But if you watch this video, you can give me some information about the dive. 
to be really appreciated. Another tunnel built under and yet another incline. I forget how many inclines is in here. I did know, but I forgot. It's like 12, 13, 14, something like that. Interesting date. Second of the 12th, looks like 1957. H, W, W. I'm absolutely puffing away here. But when we get up this incline, I should show you something a bit special. Some of you know what it's going to be, but obviously some of you won't. So, I've got my breath back a bit now. We get up that last bit and I'll film it for you. You'll see what I've been going on about. We've got this huge three drum winch. I'll go up there in a minute and film that bit. Just look at that. That is proper impressive. Imagine these three winches rumbling away. And there's the hand levers to operate it. I don't know how many winchmen will be up here. I should imagine one. Because even back in those days, they did some cost cutting. Up there, if you can see it, there's a block and tackle. And there's some more goodies on the other side of this winch, so let's head off over there. We're walking through here. It's very impressive, albeit a little bit precarious with all this stuff above your head. There's a lot of gearing down here, and gearbox cases, and this, that, and the other acid tanks, like the ones we saw earlier in the video. Up there, up there. Full video lighter. It's a hell of a place, this. Hell of a place. Some stuff down here. That passageway up there, we've been up before, and it gets, if I remember rightly, very sooty. This is a big fan up there. You see this, obviously, pressurised container. You can see the two tracks. You can see it. Impressive little locomotive machine here. Look at that. Wonderful. There's a red fire bucket. There's a sand bucket. And there's a massive vice which has been turned around. 